guys how you will doing Nunu here and welcome back to my channel and to my kitchen so I'm back with another recipe and this time guys I'm cooking for you Queen's Jam so Queen's Jam is quite well known in some countries not so well known in another countries okay and it actually can be extremely expensive okay during my travelings you know I have paid for Queen's Jam up to 40 euro a kilo okay so Queen's Jam is super expensive and I have been cooking Queen's Jam for many years now and I have tried any recipe that you guys can see that is out there on the market until I came up with my own recipe that is super famous between my family my friends just like last year in the autumn I think I cooked about 30 kilos of Queen's Jam and it only lasted into the spring and the good thing guys about Queen's Jam is that Queen's Jam can actually be preserved and aged okay so you once you make it you can keep Queen's Jam for at least four years out of the fridge okay so that's the oldest I've ever eaten is four years but I have never made one that lasted that long normally it's gone within a few months doesn't matter how much how much I make it's gone so and I am gonna teach you guys one of my biggest secrets when it comes to Queen's Jam I learned that by mistake just happened but I'm gonna show you and the secret to make Queen good Queen's Jam is your fruit okay make sure your fruit is not completely ripened otherwise it will never be the same okay so I'm actually gonna get close to the camera and I'm gonna show you this queens so this queens to me for my recipe it's ripened just enough but not that ripened you still can see some green color as completely ripened queens would be like completely yellow or like a deep yellow sometimes so I'm just gonna show you guys so as you guys can see my queens is still quite green and that's the way I like it that really is my secret once it comes to do queens now guys I'm actually gonna peel I'm gonna peel only one for you to show you because I have a lot there to peel so I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to make the jam and how I peel it okay so guys what do you need for this recipe so you need one kilo of queens fruit I have a lot more here because I'm gonna be making a lot more than that but you need one kilo okay and you need 800 grams of sugar and 100 mils of water that's it like I said to you guys I tried many recipes you know I think that's the best one and now I'm actually gonna show you guys how I peel my queens okay and what parts of it I use to make my jam and what I don't use so guys what I normally do is I cut it in four parts okay because queen's fruit is actually quite hard okay And then I remove all the skin. A lot of people actually use the skin to make the queens, but I don't like. I think it gives it like a bitter taste and I really don't like that. So after I remove the skin from the queens, I'm gonna remove all the inside part where the seeds are and a little bit along the way here okay this is all gonna give it a little bit of a bitter taste also a lot of people use the whole thing but then you're gonna find like little grains in the queens and everything and I really don't want that so I'm gonna clean everything so that's it so that's exactly how it should look okay just really the meat part nothing else and then when you have it like this I will cut it again in the middle and then cut it again in about three parts okay so you are literally gonna cut it into small little squares like this and now I'm gonna do that to the whole of this fruit and I will be back to show you the next step so guys finally I finished peeling all my queens and as you can see it has actually oxidated a good bit okay so do not be afraid of that it will not change the flavor okay it's quite normal that queens oxidates okay especially because as I told you before my secret is to use the queens when it's not fully ripened so it oxidates much quicker so all you're gonna need now it's a pot okay and you need your queens your sugar and your water so one kilo of queens you're gonna be using 800 grams of sugar and about 
a hundred mils of water. So then, very easy. You just pour all your greens in, okay? And then you add all your sugar. This is before you start cooking, okay? You add your sugar. And then you add your water. So then guys, when you put the three things in, you just give it a little mix, okay? So the sugar absorbs the water. So just give it a little mix, okay? Then put your top on, and then you guys gonna turn on your cooker into medium heat, okay? And now we're just gonna wait until the water starts to dissolve the sugar. And once it does, it will cook for about an hour, maybe, okay? And you have to come and stir now and then. So guys, the quince has now been cooked for about, it's been cooking for about 10 minutes now. And as you can see, the sugar melted completely already. And now you just leave it on medium fire and just let it cook. Okay, so I will come back into the video now, guys, and show you how it all processes and everything, and I will just also show you when it's ready, okay, when it's ready to be blended, because it needs to be blended, but needs time, needs to cook slowly, okay? Do not try and rush quince, because you will burn it, and also, never add more water, okay? Once you added your water, that's it. Never add more water, because otherwise you... If you put cold water in it, it will burn it, okay? So guys, my quince has now been cooking here for about 20 minutes. And as you can see, the fruit are beginning to go a little bit soft and turning into a gold color, okay? So like I said to you guys before, keep it on medium heat. Do not be tempted to rush. Because if you rush this because of the amount of sugar that's in it, you're just gonna burn the sauce okay because it's like caramel and that's it and then your quince is destroyed so just keep it cooking very very slowly okay and make sure you come back every five minutes maybe and just give it a, a stir so the fruit that are, are on the top they go to the bottom and the bottom ones come to the top so they cook equally okay So my quince has been cooking for about a half an hour now. As you guys can see, the color, this gold color is getting deeper and deeper, but it's still not finished by no means. We want it to go kind of red, okay? And it will go, it just needs time. So guys, it's actually been an hour now. It took me a full hour to get this color, okay? And this is the exact color you want your quince to go, but never cook it any further than this because otherwise it will go just as hard as a rock, okay? So guys, like I said, it took me about an hour to get to get it to this color, so it's done now. So now the next step, and you have to do it quick, okay? You can not let it go cold, and it's time to blend it. Okay guys, you see the consistency of this? This is just absolutely perfect. That's exactly how you want your queens to look like. Now that you have all your queens blended and everything, you need to be quick because if you let it cool down, it will get hard. So, and you should be putting it into bowls like this. Just if you want to preserve it for a few years, make sure you disinfect your bowls with whiskey, okay? That's the best way. And then you're just gonna put it into the bowls, okay? No, so there we go, this is my first bowl, and just use your spoon to push it down, okay? So guys, and our quince is now finished, okay? So out of one and a half kilo of fruit that I used, and I used um, one kilo and a hundred grams, I think, of sugar, 
I managed to do four bowls. So this is the thing, it reduces a lot. So it looks like a lot when you first start, but then it's not actually not that much. But I actually wonder how much each of them weighs. So I'm actually gonna check 750 grams, because this is actually quite heavy. If you think you could be paying about 30 to 40 euro a kilo, this is easily worth a 30 euro each. So as you can see, you definitely should be, should, should be making this at home, guys, other than buying. And also, I'm gonna give you another tip, okay? If you ever try to buy quince, okay? So this is the lightest it should ever be. I sometimes make it even much darker than this. I didn't do it today because if you guys are gonna do it for the first time and you attempt to go really dark, it's probably not gonna work. So if it's ever any lighter than this, I'm gonna tell you exactly where it is. So if it's any lighter than this, there is very little fruit in it. There is actually a huge, huge quantity of sugar. Because otherwise, if it's much lighter than this, it will be very loose, okay? And this is called a jam, but actually, this is not a spread or anything. You're supposed to be able to slice it. And then how do you eat this? You eat this in a sandwich. If you try to eat like a sandwich with some cheese and, and a slice of this, it's amazing. And also, because I'm from Portugal and we, we eat a lot of this as a dessert. So as a dessert, how do you eat it? It's a dessert called Romeo and Juliet. So literally is a thick slice of a good quality cheese and then an equal slice of this Queen's jam and you put it on top of the cheese and then you just eat it with your fork and knife and it's amazing and it's called Romeo and Juliet. Okay, so also one more thing. If you want to preserve your queens for a few years to come, you can very easily do it. So all you have to do to be able to preserve it is make sure you disinfect your bowl with whiskey, okay? And then you're gonna get some baking paper and I'm not gonna dip mine because this is not going to be preserved. This will be all gone in a few days, but you can use baking paper and then you dip your baking paper into whiskey and then just go like this. Then you put it on top like this. That's it. And this is how you preserve your quince. And to preserve it, don't need to go into the fridge and for as long as you have it in the house, it does not go into the fridge either. And you can preserve it, I know, up to four years because I have eaten four years uh, old quince. You, as soon as it cools down, you, could, you guys could actually eat it, but I would advise you to wait at least a week before you eat it, more if you can. Like, if it's preserved already three to four weeks, tastes better. If it's preserved two months, tastes even better. Actually, in the next few days, I'm actually gonna make a huge quantity of this and I'm gonna put it all like into Christmas bowls because I give it away to people at Christmas, okay? So, guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and definitely, guys, get baking and make it, because absolutely delicious, especially now Christmas is coming, okay? Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.